one owner car guy and what I've got here for you today is a beautiful 1986 Chevy Celebrity wagon station wagon it's got the 2.8 liter multi-port fuel injected motor and I'll tell you it's a clean car two owner 77,000 miles I'm gonna go around and kind of give you a once around then I'll go up close and show you it's got its dings and stuff and it's little um, areas of wear I guess you'd say but overall it's a super clean car it's in great shape good cheap wheels for someone and just great little fuel economy economical there you go that's what I'm looking for economical cars um, so it's kind of your once around and we'll go up close and show you everything I love a one and two owner car owners just most always take better care of them and maintain them you can tell by what they pay to put on them and stuff this guy put a nice set of Kumho tires back on it I mean beautiful set of tires my name is Nathan 406-544-6919 you can reach me anytime my website is www.oneownercarguy.com you can check that out and see a lot of the stuff I have for sale I've probably got about 40 of them on there and then a bunch of um, stuff that I have sold you can see what kind of stuff I sell as you can see all kinds of cars about 180 of them for sale so that's your once around I'm gonna go up close show you any minor flaws minor damage and anything that's wrong with the car or anything um, that I can see on it um, like I say these Kumho these are extras Kumho Solus KR21s are as close to like new hope that low light level there you go they're like new I would say they're 95% tread um, gas supreme shocks these wheel wells are in great shape a um, few little chips here and there tiny the black around the windows you can see it's got a few chips and a lot of people would sand that down and take a can of Krylon rust proofing paint and just spray that out I've chosen to do nothing to it and I'm gonna sell it like it is for you this thing has a little wire hanging down and I will have to look at um, 2.8 liter multi-port fuel injection and as you can see it totally works it's that wire ah ah it hooks right on that piece got it right here we fix them as we go I tell you um, little scuff on the hubcap nice set of caps um, factory paint I believe little um, see you get the burnt clear coat clear coat comes off and then the paint under it goes a guy could paint this um, I haven't done nothing to it um, this here makes me think that somebody painted it or part at least But everything else isn't seen it, so maybe the plastic part. I don't know. It all seems original. Chrome and everything's in great shape. It's a, it's a clean car. Um, logo's gone. They're about five to eight bucks on eBay. I'm gonna get one. There are chips right here. Let me get down here and show you underneath this bad boy. It's in great shape. You can see the rock. Just take the paint off the metal and you see a little bit of corrosion on it from the pan. It's clean. Just clean as can be. And you know, I sometimes spray these with like a rust proofing uh, black paint. And I could do that for you to proof it if you wanted. A couple cans of paint. I got a guy that'll do it. Um, this one I just left. It's in beautiful shape. A little bit of wear going around the edges here. Couple chips. Mud flat broken. It's best to go up to there, I believe. Floor pans and everything. It's in great shape. Factory undercoat and everything. And this set of tires, I'm mean, here to tell you, it's a beautiful set of tires. So a little plastic that goes over the foul chrome parts there. It was kind of given away. And these pieces here, how they start cracking, 
It don't leak or nothing a bunch of water or nothing, but this piece is out on it. Same thing here on the black part here. And other than that, that all there is to say, there's one dent up there I wanted to show you. It's a dent right there. Dean right here. And I'm sure you'll find a door ding, like there's a couple very small right there and there. This dent right here, I didn't do nothing to it. A dentless paint guy guy could get this out. You can almost get it with a toilet plunger. I'm positive. Um, I didn't do nothing to it, like I said. Factory wind deflector type thing. I think that's what they were. And this piece here is starting to crack like they do on all GM products. That piece just does not last. Let's see what you have here. And other than that, man, it's a clean car. A couple of chips there on top I've shown you. Roof rack's in great shape. Nice and tight. Um, man, I can't think of nothing else on it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go for a test drive, show you how it runs, clip on down the road, take you to the underground part here and show you the interior where there's no shadows on anything. And that's that. My name's Nathan, 406-544-6919. You can reach me anyone www.oneownercarguy.com. And make sure to subscribe. I've got over 600 videos on this channel and just clean classic Euro muscle stuff. In fact, around this car, I'm gonna upload a couple that are in the same type of year range and body style. And I've got some Ford Fairmont wagons and uh, Ford LTD wagons and Pontiac wagons and Wagon Central here. I do love a combi, a state, station wagon. Heck, you call it whatever you want, I like it. Um, so, we're going on a test drive now. www.oneownercarguy.com. Test driving this Chevy Celebrity. Oh man, the interior is nice. 77,000 original miles. Like I say, I'm going to take you downstairs to where you can see this better. It gets a little um, shadowy or something. But I stuck these in here and it gets hot. I hope they didn't stick together. Because I actually had a guy show up and started working, but Cereal Marshmallows, www.cerealmarshmallows.com, and I have now lost the key. This piece right here, also, looks like they touched it up a bit. And I'll bet you that's what they did, is they touched it up where anything burned off. I hate ending a video, and I won't end them ever to change something, but I will right up. I will um, walk inside and look for Keith, obviously. This car runs, drives, shifts, great. When you first, it just went out. When you stir, first start it up, the brake light will stay on for a sec. It may have low fluid or something. It doesn't come on anymore. I'm sure at some point you'll replace a shock or a joint, like a CD joint or a something like that but it runs good I do hear a little clunk up front from a shock or a wheel bearing or something every once in a while um, I'll let these people get ahead of us to where we can step on it here and this car goes that's to the speed limit basically I'm not gonna do any more than that and like I say you've got to be kidding me because I'm turning, my blinkers work. Well, I guess he didn't like the way that the merge works. Tough doo-doo. Wow, powerful and economical. That's all there is to say about it. Very smooth riding. Mine works too. Looks 
so that's a roll through the neighborhood here. My name is Nathan once again. It's 406-544-6919. You can reach me absolutely anytime. Um, www.oneownercarguy.com. We're going to go down the back way here. Just powerful as can be. It really is there. I wanted to show you how powerful it was when we were merging and I was above my power band there going about 15 once I laid on it. I mean this thing will lay down a patch if you want it to. And, and get the high 20s, you get 28 miles a gallon or so. I mean these are just neat car. And the wagon, the work truck, man. And let's get all the sun off of our car. I'm gonna have to come in a little farther than I want to. And he's power washing. Let's go up here. This will work. I like this better, maybe. We'll see. Okay. For the exterior, I'm going to have to talk louder here. Because I've got a power washer going. Door panels are in great condition. You can see they're just nice. Uh, floors, there ain't no wear on them. He's just in great condition. You can see, excuse me, pedals, there ain't no wear on them. And these here, you got a little wear on the floor. The kick panel's hardly been used. You can see the only thing as far as wear is dirt in it for me driving it. There's no wear on the pedals. Carpet's in good shape. Factory floor mats. The seats are going to put them back in my pocket before I lose another set, right? Seats are in great shape dash and everything is in great shape. Headliner looks great. You know what? I'm going to show the other side and then I'm going to back it up and show it in a different spot too in case, in case you can't see it correctly. Backseat don't even ever look to be setting. Pop it Get it? Yep. Now these windows, they seem to have a little bit of a light water spots on them, like hard water spots, um, just so you know. Um, I don't have that key with me, I'll need that. Great condition, in and out. Export, yes siree, I can export this one anywhere in the world. And Netherlands, no VAT. This is the right year for that. Um, oh yeah, there it is. I was wondering how to get to the... It's got the different glove box on it from this year. This here. Put that down. Get the keys out. Great shape. Show you from another area too, in case it's not what you were looking for there. Where you can't see the low-level light adjustment really gets me. I want to make sure you can see everything correctly. Only about eight more days until my camera comes out. I'm gonna get the Sony Next Seven. I'm gonna break out with the big money. I'm not looking forward to that strap in front of the camera there. Sorry about that. It's hard to do. Sometimes they have a bit of the hood insulation down there. All clipped in along the front though, looking good. A chunk missing. Great shape. I mean this is a what? 96, 2006, 20, 26, 27 year old car. This is a classic! It is! Hope you can see that. I can't see my screen to make sure you can. So, clean car, missing a top to that, taped it off for the overflow, and put a new battery in it, that's about all there is to say, I'm going to show you in the back, and then I'm going to back it up, 
show you from a different direction. And this, I'm on a hill, it usually stays up. On this hill, it doesn't seem to want to 100%. I'll we'll show you that over there too and see how it works. Oh yeah, it's a double opening. That's the one that stays up uh, anywhere. Look at that. All the books and everything. Now I gotta take my pictures of this here thing also. So we'll put it like this. Yeah, sorry. Nathan 406 544 6919. That is not how I had it, but that's okay. There's no right way, right? There we go. We'll do something like that. What do you think? That looks kind of good. Other than that, I don't know what else to say. I'm gonna need these. See, after you're going that brake light, don't stay on either. It happens the first startup, which this was the first startup in the morning for us. Got this thing all set up last night and didn't make it before the end of the day to get the pictures. Okay, there we go. AC blows real cool. You could use a can of Freon from Walmart or something. R134A, it works. And it was cool, but it could be colder. Um, oh yeah, that shows it off better. You can see that better, I think. Like that, the stain around that where he would put his foot. And I don't shampoo the carpets, so that would add a little bit of dimension to this, I'm sure. The seats are in great condition. Somebody comment. This does show the interior better like on this one, right? If somebody could answer and kind of tell me, that'd be cool. I'm trying to figure out. I think the sun glare coming down there creates too much blur. Yeah, this is better, in my opinion. But see, I'm... There's a couple ways to do things, and one way, no matter what you do, one way hides stuff. And I'm not looking to hide stuff like that. You can see that carpet thing is set on there so long that the carpet around it is a little bit sun bleached from just sun. That makes sense, huh? Sun bleached from the sun. Ashtrays, you don't see them in cars no more either. And I've showed you the back here, so I'm actually gonna leave this laid down now. Very easy to put down. One button, I like that. We'll go ahead and open this up for you. And shape in the back again. Showed you under the hood. Yeah, baby. It's the work truck, the work wagon. And these wagons are hot boxes. When you leave them sitting out in the sun, these headliners are usually all messed up. Man, my people don't detail very good, do they? There's a smudge. Look at that smudge almost comes right off. It does! It does. Can you believe that? I don't even do the details right. I tell you. Some hair. Probably had a puppy in the back at some point. No smells. No foul smells or nothing. Scuffs there. The scuffs there. And these, look at this. It's definitely a uh, a uh, strut to push. Oh no, I wanted to do the window. There we go. Yeah, on level ground it stays up just fine. Uh, hat! There, I'm going to show you with it shut. You actually got to shut the tailgate to do it. No problem, it'll stay up. Just not on that hill I'm doing it on up there. This wire is broken. Probably for a light or a sensor or something that, oh, probably for the sensor that tells you that your rear hatch is open. Almost guaranteed.
Once again, it's Nathan 406-544-6919. Same thing here with the cracks along that. This one has no cracks at all though. I don't know why. I showed you a couple spots like that where it's chippy. Chippy. Slight corrosion above here. Right at the line. It looks like just a clear coat burned a little on. That's the uh, deal. So we're gonna go up top, get you an outro. I gave you my website, www.oneownercarguy.com. Kind of a longer video because I forgot my like I did last year keys. Just for joining, it's quick, easy, and free. So what are you waiting for? Uh, radio. This speaker does not work. The other ones do. Just so you know. And I can throw a set of them in for fifteen dollars. These are pretty good runners. That's all there is to it. Like to get the outro with it looking at it and it gives me a chance to make sure that I told you everything about it um, and with that in mind I'll get out and look and check and I think I went around everything and that's about it if there's anything else that's what I'm doing here at the last minute is kind of checking to make sure that I've showed you everything and I have a little scuff here oh I didn't show you from the backup and that's about it www.oneownercarguy.com lots of these little wagons around right now i've got a bunch of them i really dig these little cars for economical type reasons and just what they cost you can get a hybrid and you get extra seven eight miles nine ten miles a gallon pay an extra 40 grand <laughs> right oh yeah i did show you the back Let's practice that look Water spots on that chrome, too. Love a California car. They're just as clean as it gets. Well, import, export. This is the perfect year, 1986, to export to anywhere. Netherlands, I know there's no value-added tax. I don't know how the other European or um, Asian countries go, but I will ship this anywhere in the world, any port, you name it. Nathan? 406-544-6919. Thanks for watching and have a great day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are.